Easiest way to grow mushrooms in your home for beginners is a brown rice flour cakes in a shotgun terrarium. So let me show you here. Right here, I got vermiculite, dry vermiculite, brown rice flour. What I'm gonna do is prepare my cakes. I'm going to combine two parts vermiculite with one part water, one part brown rice flour. If you're growing something like reishi mushrooms, as I've learned recently, you're gonna to wanna to maybe substitute the vermiculite with uh, sawdust or rehydrated wood pellets. So I, but for this example, I'm gonna do the vermiculite. I'm gonna add the water next, mix it up together. This prevents the brown rice flour from clumping. And I'm gonna just take this and I'm gonna fill this guy up. I'm gonna leave a half an inch at the top. This is gonna be my cake. Okay. And I'm just gonna kind of loosely put it in there. Oh, a little messy. So that's right there. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of room on the top. Okay. Uh, for this example, but I'll, I'll probably wanna wipe the inside perimeter. We're trying to avoid contamination. Uh, but moving things along, I will add dry vermiculite to that top half inch. This is going to help prevent the contamination. All right. And like I said, I'm kind of moving things along right here, but uh, you know, you're going to want to wear gloves, keep continually wash your hands. Um, Maybe even perhaps use a laminar flow hood if you got one of these available. Other than that, just kind of generic precautions work just fine. So I put the, the, the substrate in. I've added that half inch of dry vermiculite. I'm gonna cap it with this, all right? So what do we end up with? We got this guy right here, all right? Now I'm gonna sterilize this in a pressure cooker for 90 minutes at 15 PSI. And then I'm gonna let it cool overnight. Once it's cool, now again, we're kind of flying through this here. So, but for, for example purposes here, I'm gonna put one cc and I'm gonna angle it. And I'm gonna watch it come out. Well, this is the first one, usually it kind of squirts a little bit. Yep. So, and I'm gonna do three of these. I'm gonna point it towards the edge. That way, when the mycelium starts to grow, I can see it. All right, now I have this, okay? And now I'm going to secure. And now I have, uh, with another piece of foil, now I have a, uh, an incubation chamber which is a tote in a tote that, uh, that's warmed, and that'll, that'll increase the mycelium uh, growth rate. Uh, it's gonna be a couple of weeks. You'll see it colonize, depending on the type of mushroom you got, and the mycelium may look differently. And once it's fully colonized, now you have a cake, right? You're gonna soak it in Cool water for about 24 hours. Okay, and then I'm gonna take out one of these little cakes I got here. And then we're gonna do a Duncan roll. All right, so now I have dry vermiculite here and I'm gonna give it a little bit of a, I'm gonna make it look, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a coating. All right, so I'm being a little bit loose with the, uh, with the contamination stuff, but we're just kind of trying to do a little tutorial here. Got a lot of stuff on the table. And, right, so now I have this. Now the shotgun terrarium, this is where it's gonna, this is where it's gonna fruit. Okay, so ideally, uh, you will not put the cake directly on the perlite. That's what's down here. Okay, but the shotgun terrarium, these are quarter inch holes spaced about two inches apart. All right, this is about 11, maybe 11 and a half inches tall, and I have four rows of quarter inch holes. I'm gonna fill it up with, I'm gonna wet perlite 
drain it, and then put it in here. It's gonna be just above that first set of holes, okay? I got quarter inch holes on the bottom, all the sides, and the top lid. I am then going to put a piece of foil down, which I don't have right now, but uh, or a, a lid from the half pint jars we're using. I'm then going to take the cake and I'm gonna put it on top of that piece of foil, All right? So now we got now we got the shotgun terrarium with the cake in it. So I could probably fit about oh you know if, if it got cozy in there nine. Um, if you want to space them out a little bit, maybe six. You could probably fit nine in there. Uh, make it worth your while, I suppose. Now somewhere between, depending on your lifestyle, you're going to need to fan this thing. It's called free air exchange. Gas exchange is when the carbon dioxide is allowed to escape. Free air exchange is when uh, oxygen is introduced to the environment. So twice a day, I consider good enough. Some would recommend three to four, but you're gonna basically come in, you're gonna fan it real quick, and then you're gonna close it down. One hot tip, when you're making the holes, you gotta be real careful, because if you create a, if you create a, if it, if it breaks open the plastic, uh, that's, that's enough to allow an, too much humidity to escape, right? Because the air is going to be coming through the bottom. This is going to act as a natural filter while humidity, humidifying the environment inside. You're also going to want to take a little spritz bottle and you want to spray the edges to really create that humid environment that you're looking for. When there's not primordia formations yet, you can, in my opinion, spray the actual cakes themselves. You want to avoid that though as the mushrooms begin to grow. So again, we're using vermiculite here. If you're growing reishi, uh, you know, I, I believe shiitake, something like that, where it's, it's a lot more wood loving, you may want to invest in some sawdust or rehydrate wood pellets and they will thank you for it. So, um, the channel, I'm planning on doing buckets next, uh, as well as the grow tent behind me, I've got bags of lion's mane that I'm working on. So please subscribe. I'm gonna do all sorts of uh, different strategies. I've got a stump in the backyard that I've inoculated with wood plugs. And so I'll be growing uh, out of logs as well. So how, any, any way possible, I'll make it happen. And uh, I will see you next time.